Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. The question that is asked in Sanctified Art Seeking Series today is, Jesus weeps for his friend Lazarus. What grief do you carry in this season? I think, oh my goodness. <laughs> what grief? I mean, that's, that's a lot. I mean, we just yesterday paused these questions in order to grieve over the, the, the la latest mass shooting, um, including involving school children, um, grieving over the treatment of trans people, grieving over the performative politics only in the pr for the purpose of uh, finding something that can be used against an opponent, no solutions, uh, grieving the fact that people are still getting COVID and um, that there's still this lingering a sense of isolation some people feel in trying to get back, you know, getting back is kind of that um, mixed kind of thing, but still the ability to, to be in public company without a whole level of fear that wasn't felt before. I mean, grief, good, goodness gracious, is just ever present. And, and I'll be honest, I, I don't always really like talking about uh, grief, because there is so much. I, I want to look at, well, where's, where's the hope? Where's the joy? You know, the, we grieve at night. We weep in the evening. We weep at night, and joy comes in the morning. That's kind of the half full uh, glass thing I like to, um, to embrace, but, but still being honest about grief in this season. But that's part of the purpose of Lent and Holy Week and Easter, is that it doesn't gloss over the grief. It provides actually a rhythm and a process, and we move through, not around. We move through the cross, not around it, not ignoring it. And so perhaps with all the grief that is involved in our lives right now, we could imagine how we move through it with uh, the love of God, the grace of the Holy Spirit, the, the power of Jesus Christ moving through our grief. Easier said than done, I recognize. <laughs> But listen to this prayer. Jesus, friend of Nat Lazarus, Lent has a way of stirring up the grief we carry from year to year. Lent brings to mind the various endings in our life, the end of relationships, identities, seasons, and opportunities. Remind us that you know what that grief feels like, which means we are not alone in the heaviness of it all. Thank you for your companionship. Amen. And with that, have a grateful day. Bye.